Have you ever wondered what actions your guardian angel might despise? Let's delve into the realm of the divine, specifically the guardian angels as depicted in the Bible. These celestial beings, according to biblical teachings, serve as protectors and messengers from God himself. They watch over us, guide us and relay divine messages. The psalmist in Psalms 91:11 beautifully encapsulates their role, for he will command his angels concerning you to guard you in all your ways. Similarly, Matthew 18:10 underscores the significance of these angels, stating, See that you do not despise one of these little ones, for I tell you that their angels in heaven always see the face of my Father in heaven. These passages confirm the existence and duties of our guardian angels. Knowing this, it becomes intriguing to consider what actions might disappoint these divine entities. First on the list, disrespecting God's commandments. Picture this, your guardian angels standing by your side, their heart heavy as you choose to flout the divine instructions. As outlined in Exodus 20, these commandments are not mere suggestions, but divine decrees given for our well-being. When we break them, we're not just disregarding God, but also saddening those celestial beings assigned to guard us. Remember, our actions reflect our respect for God and His commandments. Act number two, dishonesty. Picture this, Proverbs 12, verse 22. The Lord detests lying lips, but He delights in people who are trustworthy. Our guardian angels, as messengers of the law, share this sentiment. They're not fans of fibbing white lies or dishonest deeds. They're rooting for us to be truthful, to be honest, to be people of integrity. So. Let's not upset them with dishonesty. Being truthful in all dealings is a virtue appreciated even in the heavenly realms. Third on our list, unforgiveness. It's a weighty word, isn't it? The Bible, particularly in Matthew 6, verses 14 to 15, emphasizes the significance of forgiveness. It's like a two-way street. We are forgiven as we forgive others. It's a golden rule not to be taken lightly. For unforgiveness can dishearten our celestial companions, our guardian angels. The burden of unforgiveness can block the flow of blessings. So let's not permit this barricade for our angelic guardians. Unforgiveness blocks blessings. Let's not allow it to block our angelic guardians. Act number four, pride. Ah, pride, that most perilous pitfall. In the Bible, Proverbs 16, 18 warns us, pride goes before destruction, a haughty spirit before a fall. It's a cautionary tale of how inflated self-worth can lead to our downfall. Our guardian angels, ever vigilant, are saddened when we let pride overshadow humility. They urge us to embrace the virtue of modesty, to understand our place in the grand scheme of things. Pride comes before a fall. Let's not let it fall our relationship with our guardian angels. Fifth on our list, greed. This is an act that can ruffle the feathers of our guardian angels. In the biblical context, Luke chapter 12, verse 15, cautions us against greed, reminding us that a man's life does not consist in the abundance of his possessions. It's a gentle nudge, urging us to seek fulfillment, not in material wealth, but in spiritual richness. Greed, my friends, is a slippery slope. It's a never-ending cycle that only breeds more greed. So let's choose contentment instead. Moving on to act number six, envy. Now, envy is considered a vice in the Bible. In Galatians chapter five, verse 26, it says, let us not become conceited, provoking and envying each other. You see, envy creates discord and it can upset our guardian angels. It's a negative emotion that eats away at our peace and happiness. So instead of feeling envious, let's choose to celebrate the success and achievements of others. Envy is corrosive to the soul. Let's choose to celebrate others instead. Seventh on the list, laziness. Now let's take a journey through the pages of Proverbs. Chapter 13, verse 4 tells us, The soul of the sluggard craves and gets nothing, while the soul of the diligent is richly supplied. Simply put, laziness disappoints. Our guardian angels, always hoping for our best, detest seeing us squander our potential through idleness. Laziness may seem tempting, but it's not a trait our angels admire. Eighth on our list, gossip. We all love a bit of juicy news, don't we? But hold your horses, or rather your tongues. The good book, in Proverbs 16, verse 28, warns us that a gossip separates close friends. Imagine what it does to our guardian angels. They must be shaking their heads in disappointment. Gossip, my dear friends, can damage relationships, and let's not forget our standing with our guardian angels. Act number nine, judging others. It's a common human tendency to judge others. However, the biblical view encourages us to do otherwise. As stated in Matthew chapter 7, verse 1, do not judge, or you too will be judged. 
This suggests that when we judge others, we invite judgment upon ourselves. Our guardian angels, those celestial beings assigned to guide us, are likely displeased when we engage in such behavior. Judging others is not our job, let's leave that to God. Last but not least, lack of faith. As we navigate life's stormy seas, our faith serves as an anchor holding us steady. The good book in Hebrews 11.6 tells us that without faith it's impossible to please God. Our guardian angels, too, are disheartened when we let go of this vital lifeline. When we doubt, we essentially question their ability to guide and protect us. So, my dear friends, remember, faith is the substance of things hoped for, the evidence of things not seen. Let's keep faith alive. Now that we know the ten acts our guardian angels hate, what will we do about it? It's food for thought, isn't it? We've journeyed through a list of ten acts, disrespecting God's commandments, dishonesty, unforgiveness, pride, greed, envy, laziness, gossip, judging others, and lack of faith. Each of these acts not only disappoints our guardian angels, but also distances us from the divine love and protection they offer. So let's reflect on our actions and strive to lead lives that please not just our guardian angels, but also God. Let's work on eliminating these acts one by one from our lives, replacing them with virtues that reflect love, respect and faith. Remember, our guardian angels are here to guide and protect us. Let's not disappoint them. Thank you for watching and don't forget to subscribe and click the notification bell for more enlightening content. Do leave a comment below and feel free to suggest topics you'd like us to cover in future videos.